My name is Angela. I will be conducting your perineal larval simulation today. Um, and I apologize that the doctor cannot be here today, but I promise that um, it is a very easy exam. Um, I'm qualified to conduct it as well. And as you might already know, um, we are here to determine whether you are qualified for PTSD status. I still need answers to some of my questions as well as um, the results of the physical that I took for sure. And I promise it's not a scary exam. You do not have to worry about anything. If we do determine that you are qualified for um, PTSD status, that is not the end of the world either. Your service is here to help you with that, okay? Alright, so I'm here. Alright, perfect. And let's start with verifying your name, please. Yes. And your date of birth. Okay, perfect. Um, can you please tell me a little bit about your uh, your time in service? Like, for instance, how many tours you did, and what exactly was the injury that prompted you to be here? So you did two tours, 15 and 16, perfect, um, and the injury occurred in 2016, okay, what month, March, okay, and what type of injury was it, head injury, okay, well, that would be like Um, now let me ask you something. As far as your senses, have you felt any difference in your sense of hearing and your sense of touch and taste? Okay, and how about your vision? Any changes there? No significant ones? Okay, that's good to know. Um, okay, so let's get started. Um, this is a very simple um, test that we're going to do, and it is called, um, you know, following the pen. So you basically, all you're doing is you follow the black tip of your pen. Um, and please do not move your, your face or your neck muscles. I just need you to focus on the pen with your eyes, okay? And please, if the pen goes out of your field of vision, yeah, my field day, yes, just let me know, okay? Thanks. Alright, so let's start. Okay, right there, perfect. Okay, yeah, just keep looking at me. I know, so if it's easy. Right there, okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, that's great. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to close your eyes um, and I want you to touch you with the non sharp bracket of the pen, and you're going to tell me whether you felt it or not. Okay, if you felt it, just say the word yes, um, and we'll determine it that way, okay? Okay, so you felt that. Great. Okay, so you, you didn't feel that? the second time, but not the first. Okay, okay, that's interesting. So you did feel the two times that I touched your cheeks, but you didn't feel them on the right side of them. Okay, okay. Um, have you had any trouble chewing or with your sense of taste 
Thank you for tasting a particular food. I like, um, let's say, usually eight bananas, and um, bananas taste sort of funky, so they're different. Aftertaste. Okay. Interesting. All right. Okay. Have you, um, have you felt any other, um, ailments, like, more elevated than before? Like, for instance, have you been sick as of late? Have you gotten more sick? Yeah? Oh, really? That's a month. Wow. Okay. Any, any changes in your daily activity? Have you still been able to do any physical activity like exercise? Okay, all right, that's great. Okay, so this last part of the exam is um, very simple as well. I'm just going to go ahead and push down on your shoulders, okay? I'm not going to try to push them up against my hand. And that just tells me how strong um, you are overall with your body. Okay, let's do that. Okay, again. Okay, so yeah, the second time I definitely felt more strength um, doing the um, if you experienced any kind of injuries around this area as well as your head injury yeah because it could be connected with the nerves in your uh, head and neck um, but it could also be a, an isolated issue we just have to rule that out okay okay um and now i need to drop on your shoulder for a sec that's and I'm going to try to push down on your um, on this part of your arm here. And again, just try with all your strength not to let your knee go. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so you seem to have a little bit better reflex in your um, upper area. That's that's always good. Okay. Um, have you felt any numbness? Any on this, let's say, on your elbow or your fingers, the tip of your right finger. Okay, interesting. Have you, by any chance, felt it sort of glide down um, against your arm? Okay. All right, that's good to know. Um, aside from that, do you have any questions for me? Um, Anything in general I can possibly help you with? Yes, there is a separate test that you can do to determine joint nerve damage specifically. Um, that's a great question. Um, and we actually do um, come back to those here as well. Um, you can go ahead and make an appointment. There is a specialist that does that um, in Vermont. But, of course, you know, you're free to come in or either walk in and make an appointment. I'll be happy to take care of you, okay? Sounds great. Um, um, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not comfortable answering, um, you know, positive yes or no on, on what it looks like to me. There is definitely um, nerve damage. Um, it could be. Um, substantial enough to consider you PTSD status, um, but I do not um, have the answers to that. It is a doctor, after all, who um, determines those things based on the questions I've asked you and the um, and the other possible examination results. Okay, um, so he'll definitely give you a call if there are any issues and for you to come in for a follow up, and that is when he will talk to you. Is that okay? Other than that, no other questions? Okay, well, it was great meeting you. It was great having you here. I hope I was able to help as much as possible. And 
again, thank you so much for your service. It is, um, it is a great pleasure uh, to have you here with me, and I will see you soon.